Hi, my name is Jim, and you are in beautiful Beaverton, Oregon. It is February 27th, 2020, and it is a gorgeous day here, so I would love to show you my little backyard aquaponics system. So I'm going to turn the camera around and let's have a look. I'm going to uh, walk around the front of the building here to the shed side. I don't know if it's a building or a shed or we don't know what to call it. On this side, it's pretty standard shed with the asphalt shingles, uh, cedar siding. And we'll go past the front again and come around to the south side. This is the greenhouse side. Polycarbonate roof. These are shed windows. Each one opens and has its own screen. Again, uh, cedar siding. This building is 10 by 17. Uh, the reason I built it was so I would have a place to uh, hang out with my fish. So it's really built with the fish in mind. Let's uh, come in and have a look. This, uh, I've got an 80, or, uh, excuse me, a 60% shade cloth up right now. It's uh, 80 degrees in here. Let's uh, start by going down the plant side. Uh, these are 45 gallon vessels. They can be set up one of several different ways. Uh, these three you just saw or are looking at are set up as flood and drain. This uh, is a Side bell siphon is just going down as we speak. Uh, it takes about a minute to drain this whole tank of water, a minute or less, and then about 15 minutes for it to come back up. I have uh, sugar snap peas here that are actually starting to get a few peas, uh, and snow peas, which are also getting some peas on. Uh, this is uh, a little bit of lettuce here. That's Italian oregano. Uh, again, some more stuff. We're just kind of planting stuff for the winter. We're just starting these. Uh, these are just being planted out with stuff that I'm going to grow this spring. So you go on down the line. This is another way you can set these tanks up. And this is a, actually a full-on fish tank. It has White Cloud Mountain fish. Uh, all of my fish tanks have uh, their own air and foam filters. They can be shut off from the system very quickly. This one, just water in, uh, water out. It's not on the system right now. Uh, I heat this one a little bit in the winter time. Uh, this one's going to be a floating raft. It doesn't have the raft in it just yet, but again, another way to set it up. You can use it as a fish tank and a grow bed at the same time that way. Uh, Let's come on up a little bit. This is the valve system for turning these five things on or off. Come around. Uh, the windows have got uh, polycarbonate storm windows on them right now, which is why it's hot in here. I've got, a, a again, a 40% shade cloth up on the roof. I'll show you how that comes down. I don't know if it's going to get real sunny or not. But So as you see, you can just bring it back. Um, then on the other side, this is 90% shade cloth, which I can pull over to if necessary uh, this way. 
if it's really really hot or really really cold then there's pretty much nothing coming in i also have uh excuse me uh coverings for the windows so this is the back end we do the planting and about 76 according to that here's my uh, air system I have uh, separate air to each vessel that has water in it let's come around down here this is a 150 gallon tank sunk down to the ground level this is where the sump is it has a uh, pump in it that pumps all the water out to the whole system uh, as we come around look at the fish tanks uh, these are uh, 150 gallon pentair fiberglass glass fronted fish tanks each one is uh, plumbed separately there's three of them uh, my water system is turning over all of the water in this whole setup about three times an hour total of about 650 gallons of water uh, this is a uh, tank we're just setting up for some form of amphibian we haven't quite got there yet but soon to come uh, the walls, anything that has wood on it, has got foam insulation behind it. The, uh, the floor, if you look at it, is about a foot and a half above the ground. Giving me, among other things, access to run piping down there. This is a drain line for these tanks. Um, that's kind of a basic overview of the whole thing. And the, air, the ventilation is with two fans. And of course, all the windows open. Uh, so the next time I film, I'll give something a little more specific on how this all works. But before I go, I would like to give you the tip of the day if you don't have one of these you need one it's an infrared heat sensor and you can use it in every single one of your tanks to tell you what the temperature is uh, so you don't have to have eight thermometers in there or the outside temperature or the temperature all the way around the greenhouse so on and so on and the cool thing is that you can also use it in your pizza oven if you've got one, which I do. So it's really a multitasker. So anyhow, those are not very spendy. Uh, go on the internet and they're in the low 20s at the very most. Uh, so it's something that's really good to have. So anyhow, I will uh, come up with something next week and we'll see you then. Thank you.